Good morning, uh, everyone. I am Prashant Kumar, a diploma biology faculty in, in India. This video is uh, very important for all the teachers who are who are teaching IBDP from last five years or ten years, and also for the teachers who are going to start their diploma journey. And uh, there is a change in the group for biology uh, subject syllabus. So the main agenda behind making this video is to what pathway we should follow to in the biology so that we can complete the portions within a two year and it should be in a logical flow. So when I have gone through this new biology guide, first assessment 2025, I was a bit confused because the themes and levels of organizations, the syllabus is based on this. So I have struggled and I have um, discussed with many teachers and even as per my knowledge, I tried to develop two way of teaching pathway for this syllabus. Hope this video will be informative for the teachers who are going to start their diploma journey or those who are uh, familiar with the old syllabus and they are a bit confused how to go ahead in the topic theme wise or level wise level of organization wise so without uh, taking more time let's go ahead with the uh, presentation today this is the first slide and in this slide i have shown the roadmap of of the diploma subject biology. So this is, if you'll see here on the on the top, there is a theme. So themes are unity and biodiversity, then forms and functions, interaction and interdependence, continuity and change. Whereas on this, we have a level of organization, molecules, cells, organism and ecosystem. So the topics is quite uneven distributed among, among themselves. I mean, it's not very clear like how to go ahead. So we'll try to um, maintain the logic when we study biology. So we'll, we'll go to the next slide where I have discussed about two way how to go ahead in the topic in the syllabus. Before, I just want to let you know that uh, there are some, there is a slight difference in SL and HL portion. The point which is lab, uh, which is HL only, this is taught only to the HL kids and the rest are for SL. SL and HL both common. So let's go ahead. So teaching pathway. So I have made a two way of teaching pathway. First is eight topic pathway, where we'll start with cells, molecules, membrane, metabolism, genetics, ecology, evolution, and human physiology. Whereas in the six topics pathway, I have customized the topic in cells, molecules, genetics, ecology, evolution, and human physiology. So first we'll go with this uh, eight topic pathway, and then we'll go to the six topic pathway. Whatever feels better for you, you can go ahead. So while uh, making this eight unit pathway with the title, which is similar to the current guide, which is, um, the, I mean, the previous guide, you can say, so this pathway would still keep things very familiar with the older con older syllabus because 
in the older syllabus, the topic was like cell, cell biology, then molecular biology, then, then genetics. So I have maintained that flow as per the old textbooks. So the teachers who have not got their uh, latest textbook, even they can teach with the help of this eight topic concept using the older textbook. Another advantage of this eight topic uh, structure is that cell topic is short, so I've kept it on the top and then molecular topics and then uh, membrane topic. So a student will know the structure of uh, all the organelles, basics of membranes and the protein before uh, in the genetics and metabolism and all that. So the concept is already previously taught, so there will be no confusion when you will teach metabolism, photosynthesis and all that. So the sequence which I have made here is cells, then molecules, membrane, metabolism, genetics, ecology, evolution, and human physiology. An alternate order could be uh, could be teach like uh, uh, could be teach like human physiology before ecology. I mean, it's up to you what uh, you uh, feel is. Um, lindy then you can come try to complete earlier so that in grade 12 you don't have much thing to teach i mean at least eight months you will try to complete all the portions uh, second year eight to nine months so that you will have two three months of extra uh, uh, extra time so that you can recap and do the paper practice and worksheet practice so it is just an idea you can uh, you can change the pattern i mean change the flow of ecology ev evolution with the human physiology so let's go ahead how i have made the content so chapter 1 will be the cell that is a unit 1 so we'll talk i will teach cell structure which is a 2.2 right then we have b 2.3 cell specialization we'll talk about the forms and functions of the cells then B 2.2, organelles and compartmentalization, where we have to form and function of the cells. So this topic comes in the cells uh, category. So I have uh, mixed everything, but I have uh, uh, divided the topic in such a way that these things will be covered in cell. Then topic two, unit two will be molecules in which we'll teach A 1.1 water, B 1.1 carbohydrate, a 1.2 nucleic acid, then B 1.2 protein. So you can see all the molecules, molecular bio, uh, biology things are here in this unit as per the old syllabus, right? So keeping the new syllabus content in mind, everything is here in the chapter two. Then we have membranes and their functions, chapter three, where we'll cover B 2.1 membranes and membrane transport, D2.3 water potential, A2.1 origin of cells, and A2.3 virus. Right? Then in unit four, metabolism will teach enzyme and metabolism, cell respiration, photosynthesis, DNA replication, and protein synthesis. So if you'll see, in the old syllabus, we have a different topic for, for the metabolism where we have studied photosynthesis, or cellular respiration, uh, protein synthesis. So all this section I've kept in the metabolism. Then genetics, it's quite a big topic. So I have customized it into D1.3, mutation and gene editing, D3.2, inheritance, D2.1, cell and nuclear division, then D3.1, reproduction, and D2.2 gene expression. Why I kept cells and nuclear division? Because it will help to understand the inheritance topic. Dihybrid cross or uh, understand the laws of inheritance by Mendel. Then chapter six is ecology where we'll discuss a 3.1 diversity of organism a 4.2 conservation of biodiversity b 4.2 ecological niches then three uh, c 4.1 population community and c 4.2 transfer of energy and matter 
D4.2 stability and change and D4.3 climate change. So th this is again a quite lengthy topic uh, unit where I have uh, make everything in one in the ecology section. Evolution, this is the sixth, uh, seventh uh, unit where we will discuss A4.1 evolution and speciation, T4.1 natural selection, A3.2 classification cladistics, and B4.1 adaptation to environment. And uh, chapter eight, which is uh, quite big, long, you will take more than a month, I guess, to complete this topic, this whole unit. So I have uh, inculcated all the human physiology topic here, starting with integration of uh, bio uh, body system, C3.1, then C3.2 transport, C2.1 chemical signaling, C3.2 defense against disease, B3.1 gas exchange, C2.2 neural signaling, D3.3 homeostasis, and B3.3 muscles and motility. So, so, so now you can uh, you can um, understand like uh, I have not made any big changes as per the old syllabus. I have just taken the broader uh, unit name and I have uh, segregated the entire uh, current syllabus in so that it can fit in the previous old syllabus unit plans. Then. This is one way, eight lesson, eight topic concept. Eight, in eight topic, you can complete the entire biology of DB1 and 2. Now, this is the teaching pathway in six topics. So, this is an idea for a pathway in uh, pathway of uh, segregating the entire unit in six so that the title is similar to the current guide. There's uh, some logic in the pathway. It would certainly keep things very familiar and very easy for you, for the teachers. The only disadvantage might be the length of the cell and the molecular topics. So that is quite big. So let's see how I have arranged everything. So the order will be first we'll teach cells, molecules, genetics, ecology, evolution and human physiology. So let's see how to go ahead. So in the cell topic, I have integrated cell A2.2 cell structure. B2.3 cell specialization, B2.2 organelles and compartmentalization, B2.1 membrane and membrane transport, D2.3 water potential, A2.1 origin of cells and A2.3 virus. So this is quite big topic. Then molecules. In molecules we will do A1.1 water, B1.1 carbohydrate lipids, A1.2 nucleic acid, B1.2 protein, C1.1 enzyme and metabolism, C1.2 cell respiration, C1.3 photosynthesis, D1.1 DNA replication and D1.2 protein synthesis. So all the, if you can see, I have made as per the previous old biology guide, everything is as per the old and it's quite big topic. Chapter three will be genetics, where we will discuss mutation in gene editing, D1.3. D3.2 inheritance, D2.1 cell in the nuclear division, D3.1 reproduction and D2.2 gene expression. Then ecology, not much changes. So A3.1 diversity of organism, A4.2 conservation of biodiversity, unity and diversity, then B4.2 ecological niches, then C4.1 population and communities, C4.2 transfer of energy and matter, D4.2 stability and change, D4.3 climate change. So this is how the topic will go in the ecology section. Chapter five, e evolution, A4.1 evolution and speciation, then D4.1 natural selection, A3.2 classification and cladistics, and B4.1 adaptation to environment. So this is as per the old syllabus. In the last unit, again, quite big. Human physiology section, where everything as per the old pattern, I have integrated all the human physiology topic here in one. That is C3.1 integration 
of body system then we have b3.2 transport c2.1 chemical signaling c3.2 defense against disease b3.1 gas exchange c2.2 neural signaling d3.3 homeostasis and b3.3 muscles and, and motility so the whole idea was to i have got so many mails from the teachers from the students and other um, uh, teachers how to go ahead with this current biology syllabus so at the end i have come up with this eight topic concept and six topic concept and personally if you will ask me i will prefer this six topic uh, concept because it is similar to the old pattern i don't i don't have made big changes in the content content means uh, the flow flow will be logical and this all the syllabus subtopics will be covered so if you are finding this uh, video informative i am continuously working on the ibdp current syllabus soon i am going to uh, discuss the ias and i have so many videos i have up uploaded in my channel uh, i mean related to ib biology so if you like it please subscribe and uh, you can write to me if you need any um, specific topic you want me to uh, discuss in the in the um, channel so it will be a great pleasure for me to discuss and uh, thank you all of you